What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to show you how to get your interior door panel off on a 2008 Nissan Versa sedan. And we're going to start with the front passenger door. So this is what we're going to be working on here. So, the tools I'll be using today are a drill with a Phillips end and a few panel poppers. I got a plastic one here. I think this one's made by um, probably Metro or, or Metro, some stuff. This one's by OEM Tools. Just a simple panel popper, just so you don't break any clips. So we're gonna start with this crescent little thing here. Just take your panel popper and pop here. Pop down here. There, popped off, fell off, but that's okay as long as it doesn't break. So we got that off. We gotta take this piece off here. That's pretty simple as well. Just run your uh, panel popper along here. Just lift up. Might take a few tries. Okay, what I did was I pried here and I pried here and now that's out. So what you're gonna do next is this clip here. We need to push that clip in and pull this out so we can pull this off. So, it should just come out like that. I know the video made it look pretty easy, but it is. Then we got Phillips screw here and here. So we'll have to take both those out. Okay, so we have both those screws out. Place them somewhere where you won't lose them. So alongside the door here, there's gonna be a nice panel gap that we can pull up on. Just give it a tug. Yep. Just kind of work your work your way down. Hmm. This one's a bit difficult. Hang on. So after you've worked your way around the door, it should be able to come free, which in this case it has. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull up here, have another hand over here if possible and you're gonna pull upwards. So, door card off. This is what you should be looking at here. Now the real reason why I'm doing this is because I'm doing a speaker upgrade in the same vehicle. So going from the stock speakers to a more thorough upgrade, these are Crunch. 300 watt, six and a half, three ways. Part number there. All ready to go. So what we're gonna do here, there's one, two, and three screws here. And then of course, this little tab here, you're gonna push that, pull this off. Another thing I wanted to mention, sometimes these screws, you can't get them off with a drill. Like I've just ran into this one, started stripping it. So if you take a little 10 millimeter socket, pop it onto there you should be able to break them loose there now we can go back to using our drill so with all three bolts out you should be able to break it free in this case I needed two hands to do this because I didn't want to really break anything okay so now we have the speaker hole here in the door so what we're gonna do is I'm taking some clear adhesive sealant silicone RTV and I'm running it along the perimeter of the speaker so it'll get a good seal on the door. So RTV sealant around the edges. Speaker adapter makes things a lot easier so you don't have to splice into your original harness. Takes all the guesswork out. So now we're just going to align the three holes here with the three holes on the door. So in product should look like this. There was really no way to uh, route these wires. Quick connect harness, adapter plate from, I believe I got it from Crutchfield, same with the quick connect harness. So yeah, let's uh, work on getting this door card back on. Same reverse process. You know, door card, 
pull up down. I'll show you. So we have our door card. We're gonna work up from the top. So make sure it slides into that slot there. Push down a little bit just to secure it. We're gonna move down here. Should all right. Make sure we pull. Make sure we pull this thing up, otherwise we won't be able to use our windows. Okay, that's good now. After we've worked our way around the door, it should be secure. Next, we'll put those screws back in there. So you should have your door card back on. Both screws into place. Take this piece here, pop that clip back in there. Should be like so. Take this. Pop this, pop this side in first. It'll make it a lot easier on you. Just push it down back in there. And don't forget to install that little crescent ring you got. Pop it right back on here, like so. There you go. You just did a speaker installation. Thanks for watching.